have just been listening to... Well, it's about time you youngsters went to bed. About time we all went to bed, so the Santa Claus will have a chance. Gee, I hope he old... Peter, what did you say? I'm sorry, Mother. I meant to say I hope he doesn't pass us by. I don't think he will. Will he bring a tree? We'll see. Now run along and we'll see about the tree later. Good night, Peter. Good night, Connie. Good night, Daddy. John, don't be in so much of a hurry. We've a lot of work ahead. Just let me get the tree in. Why not wait until they're asleep? You uh, might make a noise. I won't make a sound. Please. Yet, and he won't come until we're all fast asleep. So good night. Mommy, please bring me to sleep. All right, dear. I just missed my footing. <laughs> but what are you youngsters doing up? Why aren't you fast asleep? We heard you fall down. Well, I'm all right now. Suppose you go right back to bed. Have you got some toys for us? Well, maybe I have. May we have them now? Oh, no. Not till you wake up in the morning. Can't you where do all the toys come from? Will you promise to go right to sleep if I tell you? Oh, yeah. Well... Way up in the land of toys is a toy shop. Every night when the old toy maker has finished his day's work, he closes the door, locks up, and goes home for a well-earned rest. He's hardly out of sight when the toys come to life. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Dewey, Dewey, bring to you toys both old and new. Little boy blue had a toy who fell asleep in the car and never knew that little boy Pete had lost her sheep. Well, maybe he did. Walk up, my baby. 